Imagine this. You have just won two million euro in the lottery. Congratulations. You have just eaten the most delicious chocolate cake ever cooked. You have just had sex. <laughs> and you have done all three at the same time. Congratulations to you too. In these situations, your brain produces chemicals called neurotransmitters, which give you that great feeling of ecstasy and energy. But imagine this. You've just been fired. A family member is sick. You have depression. In these situations, your brain produces different chemicals, and you feel stressed and sad. The highs and lows of life are controlled by these chemicals and emotions in your brain. But what if these feelings of happiness and stress could be controlled by something else, another part of your body? You all have two brains, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, there's another part of your body that can control your thoughts and feelings. Does anyone want to guess where it is? That's right, down there, guys. In your intestines. You are all carrying two kilograms of bacteria inside of you. In fact, 90% of the cells in your body are bacterial cells, and only 10% are your own human cells, so you are more bacteria than human. And this ecosystem in your gut is as diverse as the Amazon rainforest. Thousands of species existing together, all with different functions. So how can your bacteria down here control your emotions, which you thought came from up here? Well, to solve this mystery, we must delve deep inside this intestinal rainforest inside of you. And by delving deep inside this jungle, we may find some unique organisms that hold the key to fighting deadly disease. And for years, researchers were exploring this jungle until they came across an organism that did something incredible. These unique bacteria produce the same neurotransmitters that make you feel good as your brain, so your gut control your emotions. Have you ever had a gut feeling or butterflies in your stomach? You may want to think twice about that. Well, there are certain foods that can actually increase the growth of the certain good bacteria in your gut, meaning you can, in essence, eat yourself happy, but, but maybe not as happy as our chocolate-eating, lottery-winning womanizer over here. <laughs> For some people who don't produce as many neurotransmitters in their brain and face anxiety, stress, or even Alzheimer's disease, well, there is real potential to reseed this rainforest in your gut and maybe act as a therapy in the future for these terrible diseases by feeding not only the brain in your head, but the brain in your gut. There is some food for thought. Thank you. What that, Rory?